Let's continue with tables in HTML in web page design and this is video 12 and we're going to look in this video at how we can merge some of those cells together. Sometimes you want to merge, combine certain cells and let's learn how we can do that. So let's take a scenario. There we've got our two rows. You can see the yellow row and the red row and they each have three blocks in each of them. That's great. Now I actually don't want that. That, that, that yellow block at the top, that yellow three three blocks in the top row, I actually want it to be one block. There you can see I took all the lines away. I want to merge those three little blocks into one. So what is basically happening here? As you can see, that first row, just that first row, doesn't actually have three blocks anymore. It's only got one block. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to only say that I need one block. I don't need three TDs and three closing TDs. I just need one. Why? Because there's only one block in that row. Now that's the first step. The second step is I need to say, okay, there's one block, but I need that block to stretch over the distance of the other block so that it doesn't just add that one block above the block number one of the second row. It needs to stretch over multiple blocks. So it's spanning over multiple blocks. Now we're looking at different columns in this particular scenario. You can see that first block is stretching over one, two, three. It's stretching over three columns. It's three columns wide that one block. So it's spanning over three columns. I'm saying this again and again because that's what the attribute is. Inside the TD for this block, I need to say that it's call span. The span, it's spanning over multiple columns. Call span equals three. In other words, stretch this block over three columns that might be below it. So that's how you would write the code for that particular scenario. Okay, and there you can get a nice little stretched out merged cell that stretches over three blocks great okay that's easy now what about this scenario okay let's go back to the original we reset it now let's look ah oh, you see that first column there you see that first column yes the column ah oh, i want to merge that whole column the whole column there we go so i want that first block to stretch over multiple rows basically so to do this one this one's a little bit more tricky because we need to um, manage all the different rows in the all the different blocks in the different rows so let's look at that first yellow row so there that's what we want to merge but to merge it we need to look at that first row there we go that first row do you see that that first row has three cells it still has three cells nothing's changed it still has three cells while we're looking at it, nothing's changed ah but because we've merged the first cell when we now look at the second that's all fine we're happy with that that's all working perfectly but when we look at that red row that's now changed because now that red row we don't include that first bit because we've already included that first little bit that's been merged with our top row now our second row only has two blocks so the first thing I'm going to need to change here is to edit the second row so that it doesn't have three TDs. It has two TDs. Why? Because it's a row with two cells. So let's take away a TD and a closed TD. Now that looks a little bit better. So we've got three blocks in the top row and two blocks in the second row. That's the first step. Oh, that's great. Now let's look at that particular little block that we want to merge. Now that block needs to stretch over multiple rows. The previous example was columns. This one, it's stretching over multiple rows. In this case, it's stretching over two rows. So there we go. You see, it's it's been stretched over two rows. So I'm going to use exactly like we did in the, in the example before this. We're going to use a span attribute. But this isn't spanning over multiple columns. It's spanning over multiple rows. So that first block there, the first block in the second, in, in, the, in the yellow row, the first row, sorry, the first block, that TD, we need to say that TD's row span equals two. So this block must stretch over two rows. And then we can add another block, another block. And so that's how we can make our tables merge certain cells. So let's go and apply it to the table that we've been working on. Now I've added a brand new uh, row. As you can see, one row which says headings. And I want that. I actually made the color of it sky blue. So you can actually see if I don't do any spanning, it just makes that block the same as all the other blocks below it. And so this row only has one block in it. Okay. But I want it to stretch over multiple blocks. I want it to stretch over three blocks. So in this case, I'm going to, in that TH, I'm going to say, it's going to stretch over multiple columns. Col span equals three. 
by saying stretch that over three columns and let's save it and let's refresh it there you can see it's merged that first row fantastic okay that's great okay now let's have a look further down okay over here we've got oh i'm gonna actually change it i don't want that to actually say 12 i'm gonna say that man must be 11 so let's say this scenario i want that grade 11 i'm gonna take it out i'm gonna make this all this if i save and refresh i actually change that to 11. i want those three blocks there i want them to be one block with just one grade 11. okay so this requires a bit of change so in row two or well, actually it's row three now but that row there boom we do want three blocks so we want three blocks then in row three we we don't want we've already included that block because we're merging it so we don't actually want this grade 11 block i'm going to take it out we don't want you anymore there we go we want just the html and that and then on row four or this row remember this is all going to be merged so this is all part of the top block so we don't actually want this grade 11 either so i'll take that out so let's go to see what that looks like boom and there we go now it looks terrible because now we had gaps over here and these two just shifted up i want these to shift up that way and i want this grade 11 to like stretch down here i want you to stretch over multiple rows span it over multiple rows there's actually three rows that i want to span it over so i'm going to come here to the very top here this td that's the one i'm going to say that row span span not spam equals three so span that block stretch it over three rows stretch it down here and here and then these four blocks will shift up over there let's see what that looks like boom here we go that looks a lot better uh, much better much better there we go so there you can see we've stretched multiple columns over multiple columns and then we stretched over multiple rows and so that's how you can merge your different cells okay now go merge some of your tables all the other videos in this video series can be found in the description of the video below as well as on the playlist tab of our youtube channel where you can subscribe leave a like leave a comment and remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.